crew battle ICs. He went in. Ten stocks. Couldn't be counterpicked. A nutter. Alright, so Juice Man, uh, I don't know how many of you guys know this, he's a standard, he's like a fixture of Nebulous, he's a TO, uh, but he's also, like, <laughs> possibly more of a, like, multi-main than DJ. Um, I would say his best, most like, his most solid overall character is Sheik, but, uh, he plays Falco at a real, like, like, all of his secondaries that are at a really similar level of his main, and, um, so like he's got a really good Peach, a really good Sheik, a really good uh, Falco, pretty good Fox, pretty good Marth. Like he can do it. He can make it rock. And his Falcon's definitely one of those. This is like, I think they've got a name for this Green Falcon, and it's Captain Ju Captain Mucinex, like the like cold medicine or whatever. Ooh, nice drift. Dead. Oh, good jump out. Wow. Oh, he should have just uh, like F tilted. That was ambitious. Oh, that barrel, that barrel will do it, dude. Yeah, Icy's bear is dumb strong. Alright, evens it up. Striking a Dreamland is uh pretty interesting. I mean, because I feel like a lot of ICs try and ban away stages with good platforming. Um, so they try and ban away Battlefield. Like, they almost prefer Yoshi's despite the Blast Zones because it's easier for them to work with lower space and uh, lower platforms. But Dreamland has like the highest platforms. Woo! Oh my god. Every time he bears him, he's gonna show you moves, man. Yeah, he's making really good use of this double jump to try and bait Ices into committing to something or shield, and then he can just go back to um, go back to platform or commit. You know, if they do decide to throw something out, um, and people don't normally think about it, but shielding in melee is a resource. Uh, it literally depletes, and so the more you can get force ice climbers to shield without even hitting their shield, the more you'll be able to. The more likely you can shield poke them later, the scared, more scared they'll be used they will be to use shield. So just forcing them into shield isn't actually a good position for them, depending on how long you can maintain it. <coughs> that was unnecessary, but sure, worked. Didn't really need to throw the desync block in there, but whatever. All right, we got the patience game. Ooh, doesn't it? Doesn't jump back. He, that, that's doable, even on like reaction to missing the other one. But uh, you've got to like either dash back and jump, or do a full analog jump back. And he didn't get it. He didn't even drift backwards on that one. 
This is nigh undoable for Ice Climbers. Falcon might actually be one of Sopo's worst matchups. She has little, he or she, has like very little combo ability on them, on him. Yeah. Oh, that's not necessary. Yeah, see, I like that. Put a little chaos in the mix. Yeah, Juice Man's doing a terrific job of just not putting himself in situations where he could be grabbed. Ice Climber's gonna, like... Like, he's not doing things on shield. Like, he's always hitting the back of their shield, or... Like, he's not doing things where he could just mis-execute and Ice Climbers can butt grab him. Um, he's making sure that, like, if they're going to get a grab, it's going to have to be a proactive, like, read and not just a reaction to his approach. Looking real rough for our boy, 22. Ooh. How he stop? The mix up there is drifting on and off stage, but it's not a great one because you can do a pretty good job of reacting. Uh just Falcon being on stage, he's still in a lot of lag. But um putting himself trying to DI on stage, he tried to DI past the hammers, and it got him solidly killed there. Woo! Ooh, doesn't get... thought he was going to try to go for the reverse up air. It's too high. Yeah. It's not a great option, but it's fun when it works. Right, just up there. Did a little DI mix up by not doing the forward one. He could have gotten a stronger hit, but uh, it wasn't DI badly enough for it to make the difference to kill. Alright, evens it up. Still, we've yet to see a wobble. That's what's interesting, is um, even as like it stays even, Juice Man's making sure that he's not getting grabbed. Mmm, nice bait. Using the nana potential to nana kill and uh, 22's desire to save her and or punish him for hitting her into stopping him. Ooh, that, that, oh, he misses it. But that was, that was like, honestly, the first poor aerial I saw Juice Man do on 22's shield. <laughs> Juice Man showing his, oh, no! The stale F smash isn't high enough base, isn't high enough knockback to uh, take him out of the grab. Oh, that was bad. That was awful. Oh, man, I've been talking up his, uh, his aerials for so long. We ended early. No. All right. He brought that pretty far back. That was two clutch last stock like wobbles on his last stock. So depending on what twenty two bands here, it likely goes to either Battlefield or Yoshi's. Um, unless he, for some, unless Juice Man for some reason really doesn't mind Pokemon, he's trying to see if he can uh, gentleman back. I think the correct choice is battle. Okay. I mean, look, there's no bad stage for Falcon here. It's all pretty good, but I don't. I definitely don't think this is as good as a stage with the top platform, especially the way Juice Man's been playing it. He's making the most out of it, camping these uh, side platforms one from the, one to the other. But like, Ice Climbers have good enough ground movement that that doesn't really bother them as much. 
See, the one thing is, is like, I think his Falcon is really good, and I think all of his characters are really good, but like, tiny little things like the exact spacing of where you need to throw the knee to get Nana as she runs back to the other climber, um, that's something that you can't really... That's something that's more difficult to do if you don't main the character and know all the intricacies of him. Um, and that's something that Juice Man's been consistently missing. The cleanup kills, per se. So there is, like, your multi-main struggle. Ooh, okay. No. Punish. That was a poor attempt at an edge guard. No, none of this. Just stomp him, dude. Yeah. He knew he was gonna. Ooh, the dash back side B to avoid the shield grab. Side B has like a huge real back. So even before the hitbox comes out, you can still use it to like beat out other moves by virtue of, wow, not the reverse neither, by virtue of um, outspacing them because you pull back so far that they're his grab, that 22's grab whiffed. Oh, that would've been cute. Shame he missed it. I like that so far, I think... No, not everything we've seen, because Nathan Gilman didn't... Nathan didn't go game three. He could have mashed that. If he knew he did a bad aerial and he started mashing... Like, the trick about mashing is it, it's not as good on reaction as it is if you pre-mash, because then by the time they actually get grabbed, you'll already have done so many more inputs than if you were trying to mash uh, only once you saw the grab. Um, but, like, if you know you're about to do a bad aerial, just, and you're at 0%, just mash. Mash before you get grabbed. Because that was definitely not a perfect level for them. That's brutal. Gabe is not happy about that. Definitely doable, because there is the, like, like, this isn't a matchup where you have to take trades ever. Um, there's no real way for Ice Climbers to, like, fatigue out Falcon. Ooh, bad roll. Well, okay roll, but catches it. Oh, and now that he's ahead, he's going for handoffs, huh? Oh, game's upset. 